Hi, my name is Ugochi Vivian Uka, and today I decided that I'll read one of my stories to you. Um, so, just to clarify, I'm doing this for people who I know don't necessarily like to read on their own, so they probably just prefer to listen to someone talk or just watch someone talk. So, I'm going to read a story, I'll still put it on my blog. But I'm going to read something that I wrote a while ago and um, parts of it are actually true stories and it's a very touching story to me and I hope it makes a difference to you. Um, so today's story is titled As an African Woman. Okay, so here we go. As an African woman from a little village, I was born with a different kind of dream. I did not want to be a writer, neither did I want to be a doctor. My vision was to make a, a good wife and a great mother to at least eight children. To have the right amount of flesh that will make men desire me. To have great culinary skills such that my husband would be overfed. To have big breasts such that enough milk would be produced for my children and to have broad shoulders to balance my calabash of cool, fat water from the stream. Eventually, I left my continent for the white man's world at the age of 16 to become a maid for my rich relative who lived abroad. I was forced by my madame to go to the nearby public school so I could acquire some level of literacy and good manners. She did not want me to pollute her children with my uncouth ways, she said. And so I was forced to wear ugly uniforms every day. Oh, how much I hated them. And instead of a calabash on my head as I had dreamed of, I had a sling of bag on my neck and my back. At first, every moment of school was a torture for me. I found the teachings very strange and unreasonable. Every minute spent in class, I saw as a waste of time. Who needed to know science when my mates in the village were married by now? Of what profit was learning English when I had no children to speak it to anyway? I desperately wanted to go back home where I could achieve my own kind of dream because their English or arts classes were of no value to me. Then things got interesting with time especially when I began to learn new terms. My teachers had different names for my life experiences. And it didn't take long for me to learn that sexual abuse was what my madame's husband had been doing to me. Obese was what I had wanted my body to look like. Ignorance was why I had hoped for my village dreams solely and nothing more. And gender inequality was the reason why I thought I was inferior to all men. I learned how to speak for myself at the time and avoid the sexual abuse, the obesity, and I grew less ignorant by the day. And so I began to pay more attention in class, appreciating the new way of life. And by the time I had finished school, I had a different kind of dream, more powerful, yet still cultural. Yes, I still wanted a good man with a healthy flesh and good posture. And even though I still wanted to become a great mother, this time it was not to eight children, but maybe about three children. Yes, I still wanted to become a good wife, but definitely not at the age of 16. And I had still wanted to respect my husband when I eventually got married. But then, he had to respect me just as much. Most importantly, now, as an African woman who is enlightened, it is my vision to inspire other African women by telling them my story. Thank you. And for more stories, please visit my blog at www.ugotv.blogspot.com and um, I'm gonna put the link below and my Instagram is at the good
Take it close and take